Hi there, and welcome to a video where we look at the uh, Maraboso price pattern as uh, available from our candlestick pattern indicator for an intraday rate. You'll find that in our premium section over at lizardindicators.com. Maraboso actually means uh, bald head or shaved head, which uh, reflects the candlestick's lack of wicks. The uh, Maraboso is very similar to the belt hole pattern. The only difference is basically that uh, it does not allow for much of a wick at either side of the candle. So for a white Maraboso, it means that the candle opened at the lowest price and closed at the high. So the current bar is a up close, obviously, whereas the prior bar has to have been a down close. The candle also has to be larger than the average uh, in the look back period. And you can also modify the wick requirement. By default, we've allowed for a very small upper and lower shadow. And uh, the maximum permitted ratio is uh, calculated by dividing the upper or lower shadow by the body range. Likewise, for a black Maraboso, sellers maintain control throughout the candle here from open to close. And uh, it's a down close, obviously, preceded by a up close. Again, we're looking for candles that are larger than average. And by default, we've allowed for a very small upper and lower shadows here. Otherwise, uh, it would be difficult to find uh, enough data points to evaluate this uh, statistically. Finally, I'll just uh, quickly mention here the black and the white uh, reference to the Mariboso might be a little bit confusing, seeing that we use green and red uh, color plots to distinguish between bullish and bearish price action these days. So black and white uh, references were originally used for print purposes. So hollow or white for a bullish Mariboso and black for a bearish. Uh, yeah, but to stay in line with the literature on candlestick patterns, we decided to stick with the original names. So now we'll uh, just uh, have a look at uh, an example in the chart, um, what you can do to modify the pattern definition. So here we have uh, two bullish uh, Mariposo patterns defined as reversals. So they're going against this uh, downtrend that started uh, down here. And um, then you see these are larger than average when compared to the look back period uh, for the uh, large candle definition. I've set uh, the default value to 1.2, but uh, let's see if we set this to five, uh, these patterns will probably disappear and we'll see a lot less occurrences. So let's uh, hit apply here. And now we only have five patterns and the ones that we saw here previously have disappeared. So this basically means it needs to be five times the average uh, in the look back period. So that's a little bit extreme example. So if you put it uh, to 1.2, you will have above average and we see the patterns uh, reappear here. And then, uh, as I mentioned, uh, with the respect to the VIX, here we have the black Maraboso activated the white Maraboso down here, and uh, the max shadow size is uh, set to a factor of 0 0.05. So if you set this to allow more to the upside, so let's say 1.15, then uh, we will see a lot more patterns here. But setting it back to 0 0.05, we'll have the uh, default settings. And then uh, you can finally specify whether you want to locate these as continuation patterns or reversal patterns. So a bullish Mariposo in a downtrend is obviously a reversal. So we can uh, unclick this and say that you should only go for a Mariposo pattern in a uptrend that will be then a continuation and vice versa then for the black Mariposo. And um, you can use it as uh, for both purposes. So this is a, a momentum approach then. And now we see it's uh, no longer 
showing up here in the downtrend, but rather in the uptrend here. So now this is uh, defined. All right, so uh, I think uh, that will uh, conclude uh, my quick introduction to the Maraboso pattern, the white and the black Maraboso patterns that we've looked at here. If you have any questions for me, as always, feel free to reach out uh, via the contact form over at Lizard Indicators. You can also drop me a line at info at lizardindicators.com. Always happy to hear from you. Until then, take care and bye-bye.